let's see let's talk about a little bit about the materials okay so this cube by default uh, doesn't have any material and how we can find uh, these materials is by clicking this uh, material tab while we have this object uh, enabled okay and you will see that we don't have any materials if we click uh, on here you can see some materials that uh, are already in there or we can click here and create our own material and we can name it anything we like something like cube okay and let's see the difference uh, the differences in these materials so the most uh, common one is the basic and you see we lack some details with these materials because it's uh, only for specific uh, reasons for example i use it uh, usually uh, for the user interface but let's see it let's and uh, let's add the texture anything it doesn't matter you see this is just uh, a simple uh, texture nothing too special okay and uh, of course we can uh, re recolor it um, let me delete this for now and uh, let me make this white so the next material is the glass and the glass is one of my favorites and you will see uh, the, uh, this uh, cube now has this uh, glassy uh, um, effect. Okay, uh, of course, uh, there are some uh, properties you can play with here, uh, like the roughness, the absorption of the light, or the refraction of the, of the glass, uh, the ambient, you know, all this, uh, just to make it look how you want. Um, about turbidity, you should be very careful with this because um, this what it does is to make the glass a little bit blurry so you should use uh, very small uh, uh, values for this of zero point something okay uh, let me go back to one and of course the chromatic uh, aberrations okay you see this well, let me go closer you see how we can um, uh, break this light to these uh, three colors let's uh, change uh, the material first so this is a very common crystal, nothing special with it. And if we go here and click on glass, you see I, without me doing anything or change anything, now we have a very uh, interesting crystal uh, for collectible with all these um, glass artifacts. Now another um, uh, material, I will skip PBR for now. Let's go to matcap. That matcap is a special material in every engine um, and of course uh, this needs a special uh, texture so let me add this and you will understand what matcap is for those who don't know it's a very reflective one uh, maybe let's load another one just to see uh, this gold and you see we just have this nice material just from this texture and if you search the internet, you can see a lot of examples of matcap. Um, oh, actually, let me load this back again. Um, now, this is one also of my favorites. Uh, it's the glow, and of course, uh, it makes uh, things uh, glow. Okay, uh, the good value is around uh, 15. Okay, uh, this is a good uh, value to have it. Anything more than this, uh, it makes things... Uh, too bright by my opinion and of course you can have uh, different colors again and um, we will see this a little bit later uh, also um, of course we can have uh, for example in basic we can have uh, um, this transparent make it transparent okay we can make it like this um, let's see now let's talk about the pbr um, in PBR, we can import a texture uh, like we did before, or we can click in this uh, little uh, square and we can add here an Alpido texture and an Alpha texture and apply and we can generate a texture that has some uh, kind of transparency. Uh, but I will go, I will just import a texture now just to see. Okay, so just import a texture. You will see this texture is just a simple texture. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing special. And uh, how we can make this a little bit special? Let's make this to opaque. And we can add normal. Let me do it again. We can click here and add normal. And this is a special also talk texture because it creates these little bumps here. If you can see. And if we boost this normal all the way up, 
uh, you will see some uh, uh, the bumps are getting uh, bigger and uh, this material is getting much more interesting and uh, realistic and of course you can uh, import uh, arm uh, which this stands for uh, ambient occlusion uh, uh, roughness and metalness so parts that we want to be more uh, uh, look like more metal uh, okay um, will uh, assign more and some have bigger roughness and uh, how we can do this is uh, either by importing a ready texture or again we can click this little arrow and go uh, ambient occlusion and import uh, a texture for ambient occlusion and import a texture for a roughness uh, something like that and import a texture of metalness most of the these textures uh, or the models in the internet uh, are coming with uh, either these uh, uh, roughness, uh, metalness, and uh, ambient occlusion textures uh, in it, so uh, you don't have to find them. Um, if you click on apply, you see uh, now we have a, a, a texture that is uh, even better. And of course, if we want something different, we can also apply with the roughness. You see how we change this uh, or make it more metallic, for example. Okay. Um, and also, we can add an emissive map. Uh, and the emissive app is again uh, a very unique uh, texture because it's all black and uh, only the the areas that we want to emit uh, light these areas only has either um, color or uh, are white okay and uh, right now you don't see any difference and i will tell you why because this emissive is on uh, zero so if we boost this all the way up you will see this part that is getting uh, uh, emits uh, light. So if you want something to emit uh, light in your uh, models, you can just create an emissive map and import it here. And again, uh, you, you can have any color uh, you like. Um, so this is uh, a model of a fire. Uh, not uh, Doesn't look a lot like a fire, of course, uh, but we will make it in a little bit. Uh, so this is a fire, okay? Um, we can go to uh, materials tab okay and you will see this texture is like a cloud uh, there are some dark spots here uh, you can see it uh, <clears throat> and um, it's like a, a colored uh, cloud nothing uh, too fancy uh, but uh, why this is important now this is important because uh, let's first make this glow to understand better okay and as I said before, this is too much. And uh, so let's make it around 15. And now it starts looking more like a fire. Okay. Um, so why this is, uh, these dark spots are important. Um, so when you want to do something similar uh, with what I'm going to show you now, you should keep in mind that we should use uh, a texture that is, it looks like a cloud. Okay. Um, so if we go to cut out method, in opacity type you see no nothing changed now of course nothing changed because the intensity is 100 percent but if i start moving this intensity a little bit uh, lower you see these dark spots are getting disappeared uh, a little bit every time so if i go to zero you see nothing uh, so if we set this around 50 percent you will see that this now uh, have some spots uh, enabled and some spots uh, hidden. Uh, now, why this is important? This is important because here comes the tiling and the offset of the texture. Tiling of the texture means, of course, we have two, two different uh, um, uh, values here. The one is for the horizontal uh, uh, tiling and one is for the vertical tiling. And same like that, uh, horizontal offset and uh, vertical offset. And why this is important? Because the tiling uh, is pretty much um, make the texture appears uh, twice. For example, if I make this two, appears twice in this model, two times, and uh, two times for the vertical, or three times, or you know, um, let's set this to one. You will understand this a little bit later, uh, better uh, with a different texture that I will show you. But the most important right now is the offset. So. If I change these values to the offset, uh, now we move uh, the texture from the model left and right, like we 
we just uh, drag this texture and move it outside of the model, but uh, it's not getting disappeared. We just move it uh, uh, its pivot point, something like that. Uh, so let me see if uh, let me show if I start uh, uh, playing with these values. You see that it's moving around, okay? And uh, these uh, values can take. Uh, uh, numbers from up to 100 and the minimum one is um, minus 100 okay so we can go uh, down to minus 100 and uh, the max is 100 uh, so keep this in mind uh, let's make this zero now why this is important because if i now play with a vertical offset which is what uh, we want now uh, you will see that the file starts animating now okay uh, the opposite one. It's like uh, moving the different uh, uh, way. So let's uh, do this zero now. And this tiling offset are two values that we can actually animate it inside an animation. And that's why this is important. Uh, so let's go to animation mode. And because we want to, to work with animations, we should be in animation mode. And let's uh, go down here to fire and right click and create an animation. And let's rename this anything we like. Oh, let's rename this anything we like. So for example, uh, fire animation. Some very unique, right? Um, okay, fire animation. And uh, we go back to timeline. And like we did with a cube before, let's import our fire inside this uh, timeline, right click on the timeline, and now let's animate uh, the fire, but uh, we are not going to animate the position, we are going to animate the material, so we can animate the opacity, the color, like I showed you before, or the tiling, or the offset, which is what uh, is important for us right now. So let's add the offset V, and like before, you see this is the origin. Now the origin doesn't mean uh, the current uh, position of the fire, it means uh, the current value of the texture offset. Okay, uh, so origin means the current something of something. Uh, so if we click here, uh, we can take this origin, the current uh, value of the texture, and we can uh, subtract uh, like a very small portion, like 0.01. Okay, why so small? Uh, because what is 100 in, in this texture that I showed you before? So, for example, uh, you see this is the 100 is the max value of this. Okay, what is 100 there? In here is the number 1. So the max in, inside this animation is 1. And the minimum is minus 1. So this is something that you should keep in mind. So this is uh, can go can take values from... Minus one to one, okay. And, uh, so if uh, I play, let's enable the loop. And if we play now, you will see that uh, the fire is animated, okay. Um, so let's say that we want, we don't want um, this animation to happen uh, to animate this texture. So let's disable this, okay. We can uh, temporarily disable it, uh, and we want our, to play with the opacity. Uh, I, I believe opacity, you said, right? Uh, we want to animate the opacity. So right now, the opacity is origin. Origin means, like we said before, the current value of the opacity. Um, the opacity, I set it to 50. Um, so if I want, for example, to go um, origin minus uh, 1, uh, and I play now, now you will see it disappeared. Okay, so, and we can also make it uh, something like... Uh, 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 absolute values like not origin so let's say uh, 50 uh, opacity and uh, we want to go to uh, 100 and then to go we want to go to zero okay opacity so if we play now you will see go 200 and zero and because it's loop it's uh, repeating this uh, this process now let's make things a little bit more interesting. Uh, so we can click on fire and we can go to, we can go to variables uh, tab 
and let's create a new variable. As we said before, variables store information. And what information we want to store now? The information that we want to store now is a number. Okay, and this number, let's call it intensity. Okay, intensity. And this is the intensity of the fire. Right now, uh, by its own, it does nothing. It's just a number, it's just an information that we store here. So let's make something like 5, for example. And now this is the intensity of the fire, it's 5. Uh, if we go back to our animation, and of course we want to work with animation, so we should be in animation mode. And we can go back to our keyframe. And we can multiply this now by this variable that we have just created. And the key here is how to import this variable from here to here. Uh, to do this, we just add a, a dollar sign. So we, we click on dollar sign. Okay, and now we see all the available uh, objects that we can import here. And now we should, uh, we should uh, find our fire somewhere here. And in fire, we should find this gray line that says variables and intensity, the variable that we have just created. But uh, a more quick way to find this is to click on search and type intensity. Or what is the name of your variable that you are trying to, uh, to find. Okay, so now Manu has filtered all these uh, results and we can find this intensity very, very easily. And we just click on it. Uh, and now what we did is to multiply this animation with this intensity, this variable. And let's click uh, enter. And now if we try to play the game, the, to run this animation again, uh, we have created a small rocket. Let's change the intensity to something more realistic, like uh, 0.2. And now you see it's uh, more like a fire.